let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. So here we have a bar chart of energy production. It displays the proportion for, for each source in this energy production. Um, and it says in 2005, the total output from all fuels was 250 TWH. And I'm not even sure what TWH stands for, maybe like total wattage or something. But here are my units. This looks like a numerical variable. So my variable here is is fuel output, right? It looks like output. And again, I'm I'm not I'm not an expert on um energy production, but I, I can still look at a graph and interpret it. So it says it's specifying we want to be on the 2005 bar, and it says how much energy was produced from coal. So if we look at coal in 2005, it's purple. So I've got this 38%. So let me write this, that 38% of output was from coal. And this number in and of itself, that is a relative frequency. Right? It's a proportion. And they're actually asking us for the total, the, the, the frequency count, I should say, of, of um, energy production from coal, right? How much? And you can see that they're asking us to convert it back to their units. So if we remember that, if I ever want to go from frequency to relative frequency, I would divide by sample size. If I ever want to go backwards, if I ever am given a relative frequency, which I am in this case, I was given 38% and I'd like to go back to frequency, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to multiply by sample size. Or in this case, we're going to multiply by the total output of this fuel. Okay, so let me write this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 38% as a decimal, I'm gonna multiply it by the total of those 250 TWHs, I think like total wattage hours, I don't know, somebody look it up and let me know. And then when I multiply those together, I get 95 and my units are TWH, and there we go. So this is just a, an example of a problem that asks you to go, I, I would almost say backwards, you wanna go from relative frequency back to frequency. All right, thanks so much, bye.